go. So licking and chewing is the sign of understanding. She just figured something out. Natural help play drive, and it's hard to say, you know, innate is one that she has much, or if she's just been taught not to show it. It could be a bit of both. I'll be interested to see how playful horse she really is. She's, she would really benefit from learning how to do this because, like I said earlier, we can't turn her out with anyone because her body language is so weird. The other horses hate her. They just think she's such an odd animal. So, if she could learn to play with the sack, she could develop some self-confidence and learn how these chasing games work. The other horses play, play them with her and she just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs. We've turned her out like with her and it's been days. She's gone five days being run around, never integrated into the herd. Most horses it takes 20 minutes. So, she needs, what you can do here is rehabilitate her that way by clicking her for appropriate responses and learning how to play a little bit. A horse like Marley would just see this as like a big cat toy. He'd be like, I can chase this creature all day. There. So, we're also giving her an outlet for her angst. Like she wants to push me around and that's not okay. Pushing the sack around is okay. So she can pin her ears back at it and nip at it if she wants. But by putting it in context and not saying like, Never pay to pin your ears back. Then I keep from turning her into a big scaredy cat. Because if I punish her for pinning her ears back and stuff, if I say, don't do that. People told me that if you pin your ears back, it means you're going to bite me or kick me. If I, you know, punish her for that, I'm squashing her natural spirit. So all I'm doing is just giving it a different outlet. We have to go and almost to somewhere I can put you away. She was imprinted and she only grew up with one other horse, Billy, and she's 11 years old, so she doesn't have...
a little bit dominant, but she's also got these just there. There, that's what I wanted. Come on. Come on. Don't let me go. You're okay, come on. There we go. There we go. He, you know, she, I don't think she's probably ever bit anyone. Like, she doesn't play with the other horses at all. She's Billy's the boss. She's like, you want me to do what? Put my nose on it. Like, that doesn't make any sense. There. See, now, just that one little move. She was like, don't push me around. That's the change that I'm looking for. It's not that I don't want dominance and pushing it. It's just that I want it when I ask for it. Like, this horse would probably really benefit from learning how to be a cow horse. Because she probably learned how to, like, she'd get some self esteem. You have to push the cows away. Yeah, exactly. If you can. There you go. Alright. She gets it well enough today. So I'll leave this in here. You guys can play with it. think about backing up. Come here. So, you can see here that the stuff that we did today didn't have a very big impact on her attitude. She's just maybe like half an inch back from me. Like when I send her back in the forward. Back. Okay, so I'm just going to stop. Yeah. So it did make a tiny bit of difference. She doesn't stop quite as close. Because previously, every time I stopped, I had to put my hands up to say, this is where the line is. And that time, I didn't put them up, and she didn't try and mug me. So, we made a little bit of a change today, which is good. And see, that's the whole idea, is when you are working with a pushy horse, you want to figure out how to change things so that you're equals without actually insulting them and ruining the relationship. 